I'm getting this out of here. You'd be a good mom someday, honey bear. Evil Dead Rise has finally hit theaters, bringing back the blood-soaked world of Sam Raimi's classic horror franchise. The film follows two estranged sisters, Beth and Ellie, who unwittingly unleash an ancient evil and must fight for survival in a high-rise building. While the movie delivers plenty of gore and scares, it also leaves fans with some burning questions, from the fate of the protagonists and the possible return of a fan favorite character to the mystery behind the chainsaw and Bruce Campbell cameos. Here are some of the most pressing unanswered questions in Evil Dead Rise. Oh, this video is filled with some deadly spoilers, and if you're still there, let's raise the dead already, shall we? Ending explains. Before I get into any details, let me bring you up to speed with the exhilarating ending. Evil Dead has always been synonymous with possession and exorcisms, but the franchise had also been known to incorporate monsters. In the final act of Evil Dead Rise, we see Ellie, the mommy deadite, who has absorbed the bodies of her victims, including two of her eldest children, transforming into a grotesque creature with multiple human heads. This unexpected turn of events subverts the expected conclusion where Beth and her youngest daughter, Cassie, attempt to exorcise the demon out of Ellie. It becomes clear that exorcism was next to impossible. I mean, the recordings we heard previously mentioned that all one could do was run, and the immense power that the Deadites held was again too much for a pregnant woman and a young girl. I guess the makers of Pope's Exorcist should have taken notes from this movie about climax scenes. Anyway, as the aunt-niece duo make their way to the parkade, they are forced to confront the monstrous being. Interesting Interestingly, this assembled creature is reminiscent of other monsters from features like Stranger Things, The Last of Us, and Neil Bloomkamp's Zygote. But clearly, Evil Dead Rise offers a fresh take on the genre while still honoring its roots. Cassie, who initially struggles with fear, bravely activates a wood chipper, which allows Beth to grind the creature to its destruction, but not demise. Beth pushes the creature with a chainsaw deep into the wood chipper as blood and bones shower from the outlet. The tension and suspense build up to an intense finale with the chainsaw, a nod to Ash, adding a touch of classic horror to the mix. Even after the creature is defeated, Ellie's decapitated head continues to taunt Beth. In a moment of acceptance, Beth acknowledges that her sister is gone and takes matters into her own hands, literally. She kicks Ellie's head into the wood chipper, symbolizing the ultimate victory of good over evil. Whose chainsaw is it? But does the chainsaw belong to Ash? In a surprising twist, Evil Dead Rise takes place in the same timeline as the original Evil Dead trilogy. That seemed a bit strange given the fact that everything was happening in a cramped LA complex. But this exciting news was confirmed by director Lee Cronin, who revealed that Evil Dead Rise is an in-universe story, albeit following different characters in different locations. This revelation also raises the possibility of a cameo from the iconic Ash Williams whose existence is already established in this universe. So it is quite possible that the chainsaw belonged to Ash. I mean, at the end of the movie, the final shot of Beth and Cassie walking out of the building with a chainsaw in hand is a testament to their survival and resilience. The mix of horror and action culminates in a satisfying and hopeful ending. Is it possible that the girls would eventually meet Ash and fight evil together and send the deadites where they belong? Furthermore, Jessica, the girl from the fifth floor of the apartment building, is still possessed by the Kandarian demon, and I am sure that she needs closure more than we do. How long will she roam around a cabin by a lake hunting animals and possessing trees that molest folk? Furthermore, Bruce Campbell has a couple of extremely missable cameos in the movie, but more on that later. Is Beth the new Ash? While Beth serves as Evil Dead Rise's version of Ash, fans would undoubtedly be thrilled to see the two horror legends come together to battle the forces of evil. The prospect of an Ash and Beth team up is a tantalizing one, and it could potentially pave the way for even more Evil Dead films in the future that are as good as Evil Dead Rise. I mean, while I am making this video, I saw that it is the best rated Evil Dead movie ever, even surpassing Sam Raimi's original by a point. And of course, the confirmation of continuing only adds to the already established legacy of the Evil Dead franchise. Additionally, Beth is just as groovy and lovable as Ash. Her journey through the world of evil and the dead will be exhilarating, or at least that's what this movie made me feel. But then, we all know how franchises make an elegant mess while making sequels. Having said that, it's exciting to see filmmakers like Lee Cronin finding new ways to expand upon the established universe while remaining faithful to its roots. With its fresh take on the franchise and nods to classic horror, Evil Dead Rise smells as good to us as innocent souls smell to the Kandarian demons.
Will Ash appear in the future Evil Dead movies? Well, yes. The whole in-universe detail does add an interesting twist to the narrative and increases the possibility of the return of Ash Williams, the legendary Deadite killer. And of course, there's the chainsaw. But you'd be surprised to know that Bruce Campbell has two additional cameos, one of which makes him a character other than Ash Williams in the Evil Dead franchise. Let's explore that. Update to share with you. I have a sneak peek of a new trailer for the next installment in the franchise, Evil Dead. Are there any other Ash cameos and references. The Evil Dead franchise has always been known for its easter eggs and hidden surprises and Evil Dead Rise is no exception. Writer and director Lee Cronin promised fans a special Bruce Campbell cameo in the film but it's safe to say that he delivered while making it hard to find. But it didn't take long for eagle-eyed fans to uncover the truth. Campbell's appearance in the film comes in the form of a record that is played by Danny. As they listen, fans will immediately recognize Campbell's unmistakable voice as that of a priest who is protesting experiments being conducted with the Book of the Dead. But that's not all. In a recent interview, Cronin revealed that Campbell also helped with some of the film's sound effects. In one particularly gruesome scene, Ellie, or the terrifying mommy deadite, chews out the eye of one of her victims. It is a disturbing moment made all the more unsettling by the sounds of flesh being torn and munched on. But now, fans will always remember that these gruesome sound effects were created by none other than Campbell himself, who reportedly ate an apple furiously to achieve the desired effect. I hope you found this video informative. Do stick around with us for more awesome content on Evil Dead Rise and everything else that happens in the world of movies, television, comics and more. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.